Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'm going to be attempting to make a montage using After Effects. If you do not know what After Effects is, it is like the most top tier editing software you can with PC. So that leads it to being super difficult to learn and to do. So that's why it's going to be a challenge. So I only have about one day of experience with After Effects ever. So this is going to be pretty difficult. And if you guys did enjoy the video at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing as those two little buttons do help me out just a lot. I'm also going to leave my friend's Twitter and YouTube down in the description. And that's the person who taught me most of my stuff that I know about After Effects. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new composition. And then these are just my settings, 1920 by 1080 24fps. Okay. And I'm just going to start and I'm going to import my song real quick. So I have it right over here and I can just drag and drop that. Then that pulls up right there. I'm just going to trim this song down to where I want it. Alright, so I just got done with adding my markers for my first clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that out and we can start importing our clips. I'm just going to import one real quick and I'm just going to quickly trim it down. Probably start it at about right over here and we can just split that. And then I'm just going to simply line it up like that and we want it to uh, like right about there. That actually looks pretty good. So it looks like this already. All right. So that's all that that first clip is synced up. All right, now I'm just going to quickly add in a color correction. So I'm going to go control alt Y. That's going to add this adjustment layer. And then on this adjustment layer, I'm going to go type in CC. All right, I think this looks pretty clean. So I think I have my color correction on there. That's what it kind of looks like. I, I like the I like the vibe of that. And then I think it's good for us to start maybe doing a little bit of timer mapping on this. So how I'm going to do this timer mapping is I'm going to go over to my point and I'm going to split my clip right here. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit, go to three, and I'm going to split it again. And then for here, we can press control shift T on it and then U. And we are going to add two keyframes. So one there, one there. And then we're going to get rid of this guy. I'm going to get rid of this one. All right. I'm just going to go to this last keyframe right here. And we can actually move this. And I'm just going to move this to where I want it to be. I think I'm going to do it to like that pickaxe. Looks pretty good. That looks good. Now what we can do is we can select these. Press F9. And that creates them to be like that. And you can just select one and go to graph editor. And I'm probably going to do something like. See what this looks like. And then I actually, I might drag this up like a little bit so it does like a small little reverse on it. Alright, I'm liking the way this is looking. So I'm going to keep this. And I'm going to do a little bit of timer mapping on just before it. Alright, so I think I'm going to split it like right there. And then we can go to Control alt t and then we can add one keyframe at the very beginning of it. And then one keyframe like right there. And then we delete. Alright, so now that we have the keyframes like this, we can highlight these and we can go press F9. So now that I got these, I can highlight that. Alright, so I just finished my graph. I think this is what I came up with. Looks pretty sweet in my opinion. So I'm just going to go back to the graph editor and we can close these. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more adjustment layers one on top of this so that's control alt y and on this first one i'm gonna go type in shake and i have this um build up shake preset and then i go to u on them and there's two keyframes right here and that basically just does that little build up shake like that that looks good and then i'm gonna add an adjustment layer on top of this one as well all right, so now that I got my adjustment layer, I think I'm going to add in this shake right here. And then I'm going to just mess around with the keyframes. That's, that's, that's tough. I like that. And now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second adjustment layer. And then we can go there. And now I'm going to go to color. I'm probably going to go with like, let's see what color streak is. And I think this is probably what I'm going to go with. So what I can do, I'm going to press T on it. And then this basically just puts the opacity. And I'm just going to have it stop, like, probably right about here. And I'm going to set that to zero. And then I'm going to highlight these guys. F9, graph editor, boom. And we're just going to fade it down. That That's tough. I like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a cinematic. I can probably have it start, like, right about here. And now we need it timer, timer map it so it's, like, about here. 
all right now now what i can do is go there hit f9 again and go to graph editor and then i think i'm gonna do like a fast slow fast i like that let's go back to here all right and now i'm gonna add a second third and fourth cinematic and then we can put in another clip all right so we got this in here let's go to Control alt t now I think I'm thinking about doing a reverse on this one. I don't know why. I just love reverses. They look so sweet, especially because this has frame blending. It makes it look so nice. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Like that. And then let's just drag it over. Let's go to five. Boom. Boom. And there. Graph editor. That looks good. Graph editor. Boom. And let's start with that. I kind of like that as it is. I don't think I'm going to touch that. I, I like that, actually. Graph editor. I like it. I like it. All right, I really like the way this is looking so far. So I think I'm going to add in one more clip. And yeah. All right, so now I'm going to do something like a little bit with the audio. So I'm going to split the audio right here and split it again right here. And I'm basically just going to go here and I'm going to go to uh, base. I'm just going to turn these down like quite a bit. All right. And now I'm going to add an adjustment layer. And then right here, I'm going to go to black. All right. Now let's go to F9. All right. So I think I'm going to go with something like this. Now let me go on that, and then let me add an adjustment layer to it. And then on this, we can add shake. I'm gonna go with uh, this one. And then I'm gonna add like two more adjustment layers, I'm thinking. Let's go uh, to uh, color. Let's do color streak. Yeah, I think this will be pretty sweet. All right, I think it's all done. All we gotta do is render this out and then we can watch it in full screen. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, it is time for the reaction. So I have my second After Effects edit up right here, the one we just made. All I have to do is press play on it and we can watch it. All right, let's get into it. I like the color correction. I, I don't know, I really like it. 24 FPS looks really nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that flow is so good. Oh, that was sick. Dude, I, I really like that. <laughs> Dang, for this being only one day of uh, After Effects experience, I am picking this up so quickly. That's just about going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it at all, make sure you leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.